All right, right now, parts of the interstate are still shut down after another multi-vehicle crash, again near Janesville. The left northbound lane at Milwaukee Street still closed, along with all southbound lanes. Officials expect these roads to be closed for uh, several hours, and it happened at Mount Zion Avenue in Milwaukee Streets just before 2 this afternoon. Here is some uh, images from the scene. There also some video of the smoke that could be seen in neighborhoods near the crash as vehicles were burning. Authorities have not said, though, if anyone was hurt in this incident. That crash, nothing new. We have seen several crashes throughout the holiday weekend and now into the week. Uh, Amanda Quintana is here to put it all into context for us. Amanda? Yeah, well, Eric, State Patrol just gave us some data on the amount of crashes they saw this weekend, saying just in the southwest region of the state, Columbia, Dane, Dodge, Green, Iowa, Lafayette, Rock, and Sauk counties, they responded to at least 30 crashes over the 4th of July weekend. 20 of those involved property damage, and people were injured in 10 of those crashes. I-3990 has seen a lot of messy crashes in that time. The highway has been especially dangerous over the last few days. One person was injured in that multi-vehicle crash, and then and yesterday in Janesville, closing the interstate for more than nine hours. Side streets and detours were also at a standstill. A similar scene to what we're seeing today, just a few miles north. This time, the crash causing a fire. And then on Saturday, a person pulled over on the side of the highway was hit and killed near Madison, and another crash on Saturday shut down the right lanes for three hours. While many might want to blame construction, construction on most major highways like I-3990 was paused over the holiday weekend and started back up today. But we still have some questions for DOT. We know more people are on the road now that the pandemic is winding down, resulting in more crashes this year in general. But what else is contributing to all of these crashes? We're asking those questions and we'll bring you answers when we hear back. All right, Amanda, thank you.